What is going on, people? Joey Tonks Boxing. Want to give you a review for the Terrence Crawford Israel Majumo fight. First, let me run through the undercard just real quickly. Uh, Ziad Almeyua versus Michal, Michal Bolk. I don't know how you say his name. Uh, I thought Bolk won the fight, the six and seven journeyman. They gave it a draw. He could have had it a draw. It wasn't a reasonable. It was only a six rounder. I had a four two for Bolk. Uh, yeah, that was very surprising because he's the guy who lost to Camel Hatton and he was a huge favorite. and um, Ziad and Bulk, you know, he just, as a six and seven fighter to win or even to have a draw was a big surprise. Steve Nelson, he got the KO. Good for him. Uh, we got Andy Cruz and Antonio Moran. Cruz struggled a little bit more than I thought he would. He got hit with some some big shots, but he came back, showed his speed and explosiveness, and under the uh, tutelage of Bo Ziennis, was able to get a stoppage. So good stuff for Andy Cruz. I think he'll be a champion down the line at uh, 140, you know, but... Maybe needs a few more fights for some development purposes. But you see the fast twitch and the speed and power. He definitely has it. Just got to perfect a few things. And uh, David uh, Morell versus Hot Rod. Rajava, I don't know how you say his name. Kozdik. That was a, not a very good performance by David Morell. Uh, I had a draw. Could have had a loss. Could have had Morell winning. Not a good performance. First, first performance of light heavyweight. This is the first time I've seen David Morell up close. Was not impressed at all. I don't think he can beat Benavides or Canelo from what I've seen. I got to see more. He needs a few more fights before he can talk title picture because he is nowhere near that based on this last performance. And then we get to the uh, Jared Anderson, Martin Bacoli fight. Jared Anderson and Martin Bacoli. He, you know, Anderson just wasn't, you know, he, he just keeps pulling straight back. He couldn't hurt Bacoli. Bacoli knocked him down the first round. Uh, Anderson did show some heart, but ultimately Bacoli was too big, too strong, and he knocked him out. So go in for Bacoli. Anderson, you got to go back to the drawing board. He probably wasn't ready for this fight, but as Mannix said on the telecast that they gave him this fight, you know, so much money was offered that he took the fight, even though he probably needed a few more development fights. And then we got Andy Ruiz and Jarrell Miller. I thought that Andy Ruiz... Uh, I thought Jarrell Miller should have won the fight 7-5. I think a draw would have been reasonable... Andy Ruiz won the first four rounds, but then I think Miller won pretty much every other round, you know, besides for one. But I don't think the draw was unreasonable because it's not so unreasonable to think that Andy Ruiz won one other, um, two other rounds after the first four because the first four he won just off of work rate alone. But uh, I think the draw was fair, but I think Miller should have edged it. Uh, rough year for American boxing. Jared Anderson loses, Deontay Wilder loses twice in a row. And, uh, yeah, you know, you got Miller and Ruiz having a draw, but Ruiz was expected to win that one. I thought he was going to win that one. And then we got Isak Cruz and Jose Venezuela. Uh, I gave Venezuela a really good shot before the fight. I think Isak Cruz is kind of overrated because he went the distance with the broken hand tank. And also the fact that Isak Cruz beat Shotgun Boa and Roly as a paper champion. So, yeah, Venezuela outboxed him. The first few rounds, I think Cruz hurt him and did well. But after that, I had, you know, Venezuela winning either 8-4 or 7-5. So that's my review of the undercard of the fight. I guess I'll have to do the main event in a separate video. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.